So Omar, what did uh, Stanford do to you and Azulis on the inside, and how do you guys correct that? I mean, <clears throat> they were just switching everything, and they were putting a lot of pressure on the guards. So it was uh, kind of it was kind of hard to feed us on the post, and you know we just need to get better at handling the, handling the pressure a little bit more better, and us as a big man, like give them better, bigger target so they can find us and and work a little bit harder to put the guards in a good had, spot. Had anyone else done that to that level? Um. This year, so far, like I don't, I, we haven't played any team that switched like all five ball screens. Because like it's a give and take, you know. We just, uh, it's not something that really bothered us that much. It just like we just didn't get a lot of stops, you know. And when I feel like it would be easier for us if we get, because like offensively we were there, you know. True, me and we didn't score a lot, but our guards were hooping. We just needed to get few sp few stops and and take care of the ball a little bit more than the game will be ours. So is it just a difference of not being able to shake them defensively because they were switching, there's always somebody there? Or, you know, or and did that happen before you? Because you only got like five shots, I think. I mean, did, was it a case where you couldn't, you know, even get the ball because you were seeing other guys? Just I mean, now, like every Pac-12 team we play, every time me or Zoo touches the ball, there's two guys or the, yeah. and the third guy waiting in, 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 under the basket to help. So. We just needed to, you know, get better a little bit about reading the game the right way, making the right pass, and put ourselves in a better situation to score the ball easier. What's the overall vibe after a loss? Because Tommy said that generally you guys have responded really well. I mean, losing is a part of the basketball. It's a part of the game. And, and for us, it just teaches a lot. Because like, I feel like every time we lose, we learn a lot. I was watching the tape from myself yesterday, I was like, oh man, like, there's so much room for me to get better. So like, after the loss, it, 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 our teams always take a huge step forward and hopefully we'll do the same thing, respond the right way and, and, and make a deep run. On the defensive end, we're, I mean, you guys have been playing really well during that seven game winning streak. What do you think happened against Stanford there? I mean, we just uh, didn't execute the game plan well. You know, it was a little bit complicated. They challenged us a little bit, and, and for most of the part, we did good. But like, we were kind of like, you know, less some s switches were not tight, and 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 it cost us a couple of baskets. So we just needed to lock in more and taking care good of the game plan, and then and then do it. You guys have played better teams, generally speaking, on Thursday, Saturday versus Thursdays. But is it is it is any part of it just maybe uh, you know Saturday's just a tougher deal for a team with a seven seven a.m. rotation where you can get get a little bit a little bit tired? No, I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say it's because we were a little bit tired. It's just like every part of the game is hard, man. Like especially when on the road. Like now every teams are like they, there's not like huge gap between teams. So like any team can win in any given night. And we just needed to, you know, lock in and be more prepared. But at the same time I feel like this was a good wake up call for us and, and once again takes every game like us like our last game of the season and, and, and approach every game the right way and then come play the game excited and, and try to get a win. Do you feel like, too, even though Zoo's obviously gathered a lot of attention uh, defensively, I mean, do you feel like teams are playing you better after the, the kind of start you got off to this season? And, you know, is it, is, is it tougher to do what you like to do in there? It's tougher because, like, you know, every scouting report is going to be me, Zoo. We, like, we, we're going to be, like, always on top of the scouting, scouting report. So it's, a lot of teams focus is going to be taking care of me and Zoo first and, and making our guards play. And most of the time our guards are really shooting the ball well and they're making them pay for not guarding them. So as long as the shot fall, fall in from outside, me and Zoo are going to get free inside. Pretty much uh, everyone who's talked about the, the last time you played Utah was about just didn't feel like you guys were wanted to be there and had the best energy and all that. Do you try to look at that and say we can we can't do that again, or what can you take from that game? I mean, that game was we were not we really were not motivated to play against Utah, you know. But at the same time, that game really taught us how value each Pac-12 game is and how important they are. And and dropping games early in the in, in the in the conference it just costs you a lot. And and for us, like 
we gonna do anything to make sure that won't happen again. Because like from now on, we know like every game we play is important, and we have to be excited to come play every single day. Because like we don't have many more games left, so we have to take advantage of what we have. You got you and Zoo obviously have been a, a key going inside out with this team. On, on Saturday though, you had to go. When, when Zoo was in trouble, I think there was even times where you had five smaller guys out there. I was just curious your thoughts on that. It, you know, in spurt it, in in segments when you guys go that direction. That's, that's the good the good thing about it is that we practice that. Like our practice, we we practice with five guards. Me and Zoo's out because like. The good thing about our coaching staff, they prevent stuff, you know, and, and it was not like something new to us because we've been doing that. We've practiced that so, like, in a long time. We just needed, needed. We just didn't need it until Saturday game. And, and when we needed, it was good because the ball was moving, the guards were shooting, and they knew where they have to be. So it was not like something new for them. It was just a part of the game plan. Um, what's the reason for the taping of the, is it the thumb that's bothering you or the wrist? Yeah, the thumb. How long has that been bothering you? Like, since Oregon game. And is it something that you just have to play through or? Yeah, I mean, you know, thumb, he get healed and as a big man, you get the ball, they crowd it, they hit you again and then it start bothering you again. So you just have to tape it and, and, and make sure that like, you stay taking care of it because like you always get hit, heal and then you get hit again, so. I was wondering when you do wear the bandage, do they see that and come after you even more? Like, well, let's hit that thing again. Possibly, but you have to do what you have to do to protect yourself. You know, I don't feel like I don't think anyone gonna be that, you know, such a, a like a bad player to try to like purposely try to injure someone because this is just a fun game we all love to do. So I don't think anyone gonna come intentionally to try to hit you at that spot, but it happens. So. So it, a little, little sprain on your thumb then? Is that what, yeah. yeah. Well, how about the rest of you, like stamina-wise, you feel like you're you're all the way back after the, the incident? No, I think I'm good. Yeah, yeah, that was a month ago, so I'm I'm 100% good. Okay. How much of an adjustment was it to play with that rap? Did it change anything out for you out there on the court? Mm, no, really. It's not a, didn't change anything big. We talk, just talk about Utah. What, what about Brandon Carlson, their big guy, for particularly he, he can stretch out? What kind of challenge does he pose for, for you? I mean, he's he's a good player, you know. So um, for, me, for me to guard him is a, just a challenge for me and, and to get better as a player because uh, it's a give and take. Because like, if he stretch out and then he has to guard me again because like, I'm going to guard him and he has to guard me. So it's... Just give and take. I'm just gonna do the best, the best thing that I can do for the team to win and and, and make sure to you know play good defense on him because he's one of their best players. So it's a challenge for me and Zoo to to take care of him. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.